Nine months after their revolution pushed dictator Hosni Mubarak from power, millions of Egyptians returned to the streets today, but this time to vote for a new parliament. Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo reports Egyptians hope that this time their vote will count. The polls hadn't even opened this morning and already the sidewalks were jammed for this historic vote. We are voting for our country, for our future. After the week of extraordinary violence leading up to these elections, there was some speculation that people would be too afraid to turn up and vote. Well, clearly not. Inside, rival party workers and election officials watched each other and the voters like hawks. Everyone on the lookout for cheating. Indelible ink prevents anyone from voting twice. It's my first time to vote. Multiple rounds of voting will continue over the next seven weeks, with final results not due until mid-January. But the big winner is a foregone conclusion, says Shadi Hamid, who's writing a book on Islamic political parties. This is the Muslim Brotherhood's coming out party. This is the moment they've been waiting for. The Muslim Brotherhood is an Islamist movement that was officially banned for decades, but kept on quietly organizing the grassroots, especially the poor. In February, the Brotherhood joined the revolution that overthrew Hosni Mubarak's regime, and then, for this election, rebranded itself as the Freedom and Justice Party. The Muslim Brotherhood is going to be the largest bloc in parliament. It's just a question of how much, really. There's no question that bare-knuckle politics lie ahead in Egypt, but today was all about the novel thrill of simply having a say. Democracy. The Muslim Brotherhood is going to great pains to sound extremely moderate. Uh, they're certainly not talking about anything like banning alcohol or making women uh, wear the veil. In fact, they've got a very pro-business agenda and they'll even be courting American investors, Scott. But whether they drift toward fundamentalism as things settle down, we're just going to have to wait and see. Liz, thank you very much.